for net players. Game server hosting made simple. Hi, and welcome to a new 4Net Players tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to circumvent the 15 pals limitation affecting your Paul World adventure when using a dedicated server. Server Setup If you haven't done so already, let us first create a server configuration for Paul World. Head over to the customer login on 4netplayers.com. Go to Game Server and click on the big Create a New Game Configuration button. Use the keyword search to look for Paul World directly or scroll through the available titles. Click on the Paul World cover on and then follow the on-screen instructions to create your own Paul World server. Uploading and downloading save games. In order to change the 15 pals limit, you have to access the Paul World save game stored on the server. You can use the save games FTP to manually download or upload your save game. Before you can do any of the above, your server has to be stopped. Then you can connect to save games FTP with your FTP program. Make sure to set the transfer type to binary mode. In FileZilla's case, the settings can be toggled here. You can find the login details in the FTP overview when you click on FTP. Your save game is located in the config ID directory. The config ID directory is a string of numbers corresponding to the config ID you can find underneath the game server you want to access. If, for example, the config ID of your Paul World server is. The directory would look like this. The Paul World save games are located in the following folder. You might want to copy everything from inside said folder for backup purposes. Circumventing the limit on PALs. Start a local game. Click on Create New World. Choose a name. Now click on Custom Settings. Scroll all the way down to find the setting for the maximal number of PALs working at your base. Its default value is 15, but you can bump it up all the way to 20. Click OK once you're done. When asked to finish up your world and start the game, click Yes. Now customize your character and finally start the game. Once you're in the game, immediately quit out again. Now we have to find the folder of your Paul World save game on your local hard drive. For Steam users, the save files should be located in the following directory. The app data folder might very well be hidden on your system. Make it visible by clicking on View and checking the Show Hidden Elements box. Alternatively, you can press Windows plus R and paste the following line into the text box to open the save game folder directly. We still have to go a little deeper into the folder hierarchy from here. The file we're looking for is called worldoption.sat. Now stop your server. Access save games FTP with your FTP program and upload worldoption.sav to the location shown in this video. It's the directory also containing the following files. Now start the server again. The 15 pals limitation should not be in effect anymore. If you have any further questions or need additional support, visit us at fornetplayers.com support. 
If you don't have a Paul World server yet, you can easily start your own game server on 4netplayers.com. Enter code TUTORIAL at the checkout screen for 3 euros off. Did you like the video? Then don't forget to like and subscribe.